It's a good thing that our generation won't be around within the next thousand of years because the future isn't gonna look pretty. Not only is the world going to be a mess, but humans are going to evolve and look pretty terrifying. From losing our teeth and forming beaks to having the whites in our eyes turn red. Let's talk about this and more only in today's video. Top 10 terrifying ways humans will evolve in the future. Starting off this countdown, we have the beaks. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Humans might evolve to have beaks. There are a number of reasons why scientists believe this. First off, they believe our teeth are impractical. Like we only have two sets our entire lives. And then you gotta worry about cavities and chipping or losing your teeth. It's pretty inconvenient. So they believe that one day humans could evolve to have beaks. Dr. Gadith Fraser from Sheffield University said that the process would involve the teeth fusing together to form a bill. But he doesn't believe that this would happen for another million years. Beaks would then be more beneficial than teeth, he believes. Not only are they stronger, but he believes that they are more practical as well. They then use pufferfish as an example. Pufferfish have evolved to develop beaks. So maybe we can too. I'm just glad that I won't be around to witness this. Like I prefer my teeth over beaks any day. Let me know in the comments below, are you team beaks or team teeth? <laughs> in our ninth spot today, we have the smaller brains. Nowadays, everything we ever need to know is just a Google away. As a result, humans are using their brains less and less. I mean, we got autocorrect on our phone, we have access to calculators to do math, etc. You get my point. So humans are actually evolving to have smaller brains. Over the last couple thousand of years, our brains have been shrinking rather than growing. In fact, our brains have already shrunk about a tennis ball in size. For example, with everything available for us online, there's no need for a massive memory section in the brain. So that has decreased in size. Same with the critical thinking part in our brain. Back in the days, humans had to be quick on their toes to avoid natural predators. But since we don't really have any, that part in our brain has shrunk as well. And with access to more technology, making our lives easier and easier, it's causing our brains to become smaller and smaller which also means we don't need for such a big skull. So not only will our brain shrink, but our heads will shrink too. Our bodies will look so disproportionate, like a tiny head on a tiny neck and big body. In our eighth spot today, we have the pinky toes. In the future, humans will never experience the pain you feel after your pinky toe gets caught on a piece of furniture, so they're lucky. Nowadays, pinky toes are completely useless. So in the next couple of hundred years, humans might be born without them. First off, humans used to use them for grabbing things, like how primates do. But obviously, we don't really do that anymore unless you drop something and you like pick it up real quick. But we don't use it that often. Not only that, but the pinky toe isn't used for balance. Our balance tends to be more reliant on the big toe, and we tend to walk on the midline of our feet. So technically, we don't even need our pinky toes, so. Bye bye little piggy that cried wee 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 all the way home. Coming in at number seven, we have the cyborgs. There's a crazy theory out there that in the future, humans will further combine themselves with machines. Nowadays, this is already happening with artificial joints and pacemakers, you name it. But in the future, we are talking like full on skin fused with metal cyborgs, you know? This is a theory created by Yuval Noah Harari. He said, and I quote, I think it is likely in the next 200 years or so, homo sapiens will upgrade themselves into some idea of a design being, either through biological manipulation or genetic engineering. It will be the greatest evolution in biology since the appearance of life. He continued on saying that this could be a way to avoid death altogether. That's crazy, but also seems really expensive, don't you think? Like turning everyone into cyborgs? I don't think it's possible. Coming in at number six, we have baldness. So back in the day, humans used to be covered in hair. This was to keep us warm in the freezing temperatures. But then eventually we started to shed that hair when clothing and blankets, you know, were introduced. So there was no need for all this hair. Well, now it's believed that humans might start to lose the hair on their heads as well. That's right. In the future, everyone just might be bald. 
First off, researchers have found that humans are starting to have less and less hair. In fact, European men tend to go bald before they are 30. That age is getting younger and younger. So if the trend continues, humans might stop growing hair on their head altogether. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the thumbs. Don't worry, we're not gonna lose our thumbs, but the position of where they're located might change. And this is all because of our phones. Humans are becoming more and more dependent on their smartphones. We spend more time than ever texting, tweeting, reposting, you name it. As a result, it may actually affect the positioning of our thumbs. Our hands might evolve so that our thumbs are more inward on the palm. That way we don't have to twist them inward when we're on our phones. Research from the University of Malaga in Spain said that some children are already being born with thumbs slightly inwards. If this continues, who knows what our hands might look like in the future. Coming in at number four, we have the eyes. In the future, it's believed that human eyes will evolve to become very prominent and large and possibly red instead of white. This can happen for a number of reasons. One, our eyes will become larger to survive in dimmer environments. Two, our eyes will become red because the constant screen time is affecting the way our eyes process the light. So over time, it could change the white of our eyes to red. That is terrifying. We're literally going to look like monsters in the future. In our third spot, we have the Aquamore. For this next theory, let's take a look at the book titled Man After Man by Dougal Dixon. This book is filled with wacky predictions about how humans will look in the future. While it's believed that humans will begin to live underwater, but we won't look like cute little mermaids, no, no. We will evolve into something called the aquamorph. Basically, we will have two normal hands, but our legs will look like long paddles. Our faces won't even look human. We look like some weird ass dolphin mixed with the Pokemon muck. He believes that these creatures will evolve when the human civilization collapses and we need to find a new place to live. The Aquamorphs will be tasked with constructing a place to live underwater. Aquamorphs are able to breathe underwater using the gills located on their chest, but they won't be able to make facial gestures because of its head shape and facial tissues. Not gonna lie, if this is true, humans are about to become really ugly. In our second spot today, we have the aquatics. So this is another theory from the book Man After Man. The aquatics are more oceanic species that humans will evolve into. Not gonna lie, I rather look like the aquamorphs than this thing. Basically, these things have their legs fused together to form a tail. Their arms are flattened and are paddle-like, but they still have functional hands. They also have pectoral gills to help them breathe underwater. Lastly, they have a weird Voldemort nose, big bulging eyes, and a large gaping mouth. Aquatics will live deep down in the waters and will move slow and sluggish because of their size. Now, when I was younger, I wanted to be a mermaid, but this is definitely not what I had in mind. And in our number one spot today, we have the tick. The ticks, or the Homo sapiens accessio membrum, are probably the most terrifying things I have ever seen in my entire life. And I really hope humans don't evolve to look like this. So this is another theory from the book Man After Man, and it's probably one of the worst ones. So this one is pretty complex, but basically the book states that after the world falls apart, some humans will only be able to live with assisted machinery. And I mean like living inside of this like robot machine thing. But since they are dependent on the machine and not using their own body parts, their bodies will just like start to degrade. Over the time, they will evolve into something called the ticks, which is just like a pile of nasty flesh. Humans will be a big bag of flesh and fat with body parts randomly sticking out of it. They also will have more than just two arms and two legs because I mean, why not? I mean, we're just fat and flesh at this point, so might as well just give us a ton of arms too. All right guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these theories you found the weirdest. Honestly, the last one. I hope humans never look like that. That's terrifying. Uh, and now, speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 weirdest things found on Mount Everest. 
Diana Silva commented, am I not turtly enough for you? Turtle, turtle. Anyone know what I'm talking about or am I just that old? No, I understand what you're talking about. You're talking about the master of disguise. Anyway, turtly enough for the turtle club. Turtle, <laughs> turtle. Such a good movie. Honestly, uh, people nowadays won't get to enjoy that movie. It's hilarious and I think I'm gonna watch it tonight. So good. Chris Eden commented, you should do a video on my, <laughs> sorry. Chris Eden commented, you should do a video on my mate's bedroom. He has some weird creatures coming out of there. Chris Eden, this is the funniest comment I think I've ever read. Uh, 10 out of 10, that's why you got a shout out. And then Riva commented, abominable snowman? Think you forgot a few syllables, cute. Dude, I have been saying abominable snowman my entire life, not abominable. How do you, what is it even, abominable? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I've been saying it wrong my entire life. I'm just gonna continue saying the abominable snowman because it's easier to say and I like it. Anyway, all right guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see ya when I see ya.